tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Arnold is currently rendering this image and I don't want to build a scene now for you in this tutorial I just want to show you uh, an effect which is really very solid and uh, straightforward and the effect has to do with a the red tint on that plate or bowl and on the reflection of the windows on the apple I created that object here, the plate, with cloth by the way, that's not important for this tutorial but maybe for another one, and the apple is just a standard revolved NURB surface. The interesting thing is the light here, and um, I will introduce interactive uh, lighting now in the viewport in order to evaluate this. Let us close the rendering window now. And this is the scene. It looks pretty trivial. Here is the grid. And uh, let me go to the Arnold render. And I need to click here in order to start the rendering process. So that's the light source I'm uh, I wanting you to focus on. There's only one light in the scene. And that light is called the Sky Dome light. The Sky Dome light is mapped. That's the color icon here. With a an image name and that image shows us the surrounding here. This is the image here. Greg Zahl made it. I think it's not available anymore, but it doesn't matter because there are tons of images uh, out on the internet which you can use as a background image and as a light source. So this is a photograph, but still all these little dots here at the ceiling in this photograph plus the windows, uh, it's a, obviously a, a a 360 degree image they will all have an influence on the rendering of your apple and of the bowl so it's the only light source in the scene and you see the the window here and the lamps at the at the, uh, at the ceiling right here and when I move the uh, camera now actually I rotate uh, the camera from uh, another angle you will see these things move so the, the window is now behind me. That's why we see the reflections here. And when I go to this view here, the light is coming from the left. And it's all that light here in the scene. It's nothing else uh, but that picture. It's turning white now almost because we're, we're closer to the, um, to the window can change the angle of course, can get closer, whatever. The light is always consistent right here. The reflection of that left window here. The reflection of the light up there. You can exploit such an image here extremely well. And if you don't want to see it in the rendering, but only use the light for rendering, this is what you do. You go to the Sky Dome light here in the Attribute Editor. You need the sky dome light shape here and then you go down to visibility and you reduce the camera value from 1 to 0 so it's not in the scene anymore that's one of the things with the viewport renderer even when I invoke it anew it will still show me that but not in the actual rendering when I use the Arnold render um, menu entry here so here I have the light of that scene, but I don't see that scene. So I can put the apple and the bowl into a totally different uh, environment and uh, still use that light. No additional light source, just that single one. So if you go out and play now, have a look at the light and how the single light source outside, which is probably the sun, works on the surfaces in your garden. Bye-bye.